Hi everybody, I am Melissa with Pixie Dust Adventures. And I'm Easton from Easton's Edge. Today we are at Disney's Coronado Springs Resort, but we are not going to talk about that. We are going to talk are about the Disney Wish. And I am here with a friend of mine, Hi everybody. Um, Doug Neville. Yep. He has a YouTube channel as well. You will find him at Neville Land. Correct. Right? Yes, Neville Land and then Neville Neville Land. See what I did there? <laughs> I love uh, that. On Instagram, it's two Nevilles. On YouTube, it is just a one. And that's yeah. where you will find Doug. Yeah. Doug and I, um, we met um, on the 2012 inaugural Halloween sailing of the Disney Fantasy. Was that the first one? How I met. It was what was the first Halloween oh, okay. sailing. Not cool. their inaugural, right. but the inaugural Within Halloween. the inaugural year. Yes. Halloween. Gotcha. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. I know, the, the truth is, I know nothing. My mother books everything, <laughs> uh, and I just show up. And, right. and that, that's how we met. And yeah. we were recently on the Disney Wish. Correct. So um, moving through that, right now we are going to have an episode about flip or flop flip on or the flop. Disney Wish. What we loved and maybe what was right. kind of a miss. Yeah, right? for sure. What right? are we yeah. flipping over and what was kind of a flop? Yeah, and uh, being an avid Disney Cruise Line uh, sailor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, being having a, an avid Disney cruiser uh, and former crew member, uh, yeah, I think I, I bring a lot of information of, from both sides. because there's a lot of chatter about what mm -hmm. was great and what wasn't and Correct. we've got three different opinions here so i'm gonna dive right in with something yeah. i'm flipping over on the disney wish now when you say flip do you mean like like, like you want it you want it flip to something else or you no. want it you're like oh my god this no. is amazing no Where? i love it okay if you I'm loved it flipping, flipping, flipping. Up, i'm like doing back flips, back flips over this got and it. if it's a flop then, then we maybe just, I didn't love it's, it. We want to change for the but treasure. But we'll all right. decide sure. if we thought it was a flip or a flop. But let's okay. start um, with um, the Wi-Fi. Because I am flipping right. over the Wi-Fi on the Disney Wish. Brand new. Uh -huh. It's not like it is on the rest of the ships. Well worth your money. And it's amazing. Please, Disney, bring it to the rest of the ships. Uh, yeah, I'll flip over it as well as a person who is uh, a... <laughs> social media junkie and want to spend all my time scrolling um or showing right and right. showing it was of definitely course. a the three tiered um brackets of the of the wi-fi were definitely uh very helpful you're not paying per gig you're paying per day which right. i think is a huge change from the others oh yes. yeah yeah and that gig just got it got eaten up so, yeah, fast. so fast what do you think you know me i'm flipping over the wi-fi i'm 16 <laughs> you know i like wi <laughs> life <laughs> if is you online. weren't flipping over i'd be concerned okay. yeah exactly okay so what else um oh here's been a hot topic mm -hmm. um and i did do a video on it you guys can um click on this link and see it too right. but okay. quiet cove area on the disney wish this yeah. is the adults area yeah. On the Disney Wish, what did you think? So, uh, <laughs> as mentioned before, an avid Disney Cruiser, a former crew member, my, my favorite ship is the Magic. Hands down, Magic. And because of the Quiet Cove areas on the Magic and the Wonder, I love a big, giant pool. I love, not necessarily a lap person, but I'm just like, this is a pool. I like being in a pool. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the Wish pools are a complete flop to me. Uh, I, they were overcrowded, oversaturated, too many people in a small space. The location is awesome. Right. Uh, great idea, bad execution. Right. 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 And I do like it's located. Okay. So I will give it that it's located on the app. So it's yep. quiet. It's peaceful. You don't have a lot of people walking through. Yep. Um, I will say that they have beautiful sunrises and sunsets mm, from true. this location because true. of the location. But yeah. The area is small. Uh -huh. The pool is small. Um, so for adult spaces overall, I have to say that if they fell short yeah. of my expectations, yeah, yeah. so it's kind of a flop. I do like the infinity pool idea. I just, again, I wish it was bigger. Yeah. I wish it was, mm -hmm. or more of that, more of these little pods along the side. We, uh, so I went up uh, Castaway Day, which was great because there was nobody there because everyone's like Castaway. Yes. But it's still, yep. it was still more crowded than I wanted, <laughs> wanted it to be, yeah. even on that. Now, did you, now you're 16. Right. I, so you can't even go. Did you get to see right. it at all? So I, your I opinion mean, doesn't matter. I, yeah. <laughs> Basically, I mean, I, I, I got to walk through there. I got permission to walk through there and 
I don't know. Okay, I'm, so I'm not an adult. I've never swam in the pools. I've never done anything there. I'm going to sure. step out on this. But Easton, leading into yours, what about the teen club? Oh. The teen club. The, the kids club, okay. teen club areas. What do you think? Oh, Flip man. or flop? I don't know. This might just be me. Ships. But on the on the ships, I, I don't know if I really like to go up to the teen clubs as much because th this a lot of times they're very overcrowded and mm. there's a lot of kids there and it's very loud and but yes. comparing just comparing the teen club itself, no kids in it, nothing like that to the other ships, especially mm. the fantasy and the dream, they have very nice big teen mm. clubs. Uh, so vibe we're talking about yep. here. Vibe. Vibe is very big on there, and they have gaming session sections and and a pool table. And vibe is thirteen to seventeen years old. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And and then um, but on this ship, I don't know. They they had a big screen and like one uh, their Nintendo Switch, but I mean I didn't really stay going there much, but I don't yeah. recall seeing all that much to do. Oh. So did, did you get to see it? So I did. I get to. I got to walk through. I think it was. I think it was the actual Teen Club. Because there's, there's Vibe and then there's like edge. the Tween edge. edge. Yeah. And I can't remember which one was which, but I got to walk through which everyone was closest to the Hero Zone. That was Vibe. That was Vibe. Yeah. It, it's, it's a very cool space, different design of mm -hmm. others. Exactly. Uh, felt very much like a hip, cool mm -hmm. library. Yeah, yeah. With that's like that's a, really With accurate. like a coffee bar, which not great for teens, but it's right. like a smoothie bar. Um, I, I love the big open windows. I thought, this a very again, very cool space. Not being a teen far far from uh not sure how it kind of transcends for lack of a better term but uh i don't know i it, it seemed cool i would have gone at least once or twice if i was probably your age would you would you out. agree that that bar area with the big floor to ceiling windows is the best part of the club oh for sure for right. sure and i will say i think uh, collectively on this ship there's a lot of big floor to ceiling windows that mm -hmm. aren't oh, yeah. on other ships oh, yeah a flop in regard to windows is there's no porthole seating, which is funny because that's Anywhere. so fun on yeah, the dream and the yeah. fantasy. It's a whole, yeah, it's a whole thing. I mean, it's yeah. A whole yeah. Sorry, that was a kind of slight tangent. But <laughs> but yeah. right. I don't like I don't like that sitting in a porthole. But, but there's very Instagrammable moments in the teen club. Yep. Yeah. Um, I think what you liked about vibe, I did walk through it. Um, I felt like it was a lot smaller. I, than I, like I, on yeah, the dream yeah, and fantasy, yeah. and, and they even yeah. had like their own pool area yeah. on the dream and fantasy, so right. it was a lot smaller. But maybe they didn't have as much demand, and they, there wasn't as much to do. Um, I don't think. I, yeah, I, I, but but then the other thing, okay, the piece I saw that maybe as a flop, but they don't even offer it on the other ships is they have advertised an eighteen to twenty something space. Ex that's what I was just and about the, it. Oh, the okay. eighteen to twenty something space yeah. you want to pick up. Yeah. No, I mean that's that's the bar area, right? So mm -hmm. the thing about that In, wait within edge, yes, the, uh, yep, or the, vibe, or yeah. Right? The bar area is the best part, right? Really? After what is it? it? It's it's so the eighteen to twenty year olds right. don't have their own space always. Huh. No, it's during scheduled event times at specific times, usually at night, and then right. during that certain yeah. time they close a wall, right? And they shut that they off to us between literally they shut the doors. Wall. That's hilarious. <laughs> so funny. Is, like, is the 1820 society is that what it's called yeah yes yeah. Yeah. yeah i was around when that's big i'm old. I, was, I was around when that started so that's very that's <laughs> so, it, the fact that it's actual like an actual thing now right. an actual place for it is weird to me because no, it cool. used to do well, no 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 but, we, we, weird in the sense of like it never it never used to be a thing and all right. of a sudden now it's a thing yeah i think it's a very cool thing i think it's a, a great yeah, great option. yeah. For, for the reason that they're cutting off half of my vibe to me, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give it a flop yeah, on this ship, right? Yeah, just because only because you're comparing it to other ships. Vibe. Yep, yep. They cut off <laughs> They're cutting your vibe off. <laughs> um, but but maybe for people who've oh, not been on the other uh -huh. ships and don't have a comparison, and you I know. Think, and I think that's true. that's a huge component of like the, the whole conversation we're having is yes, if you've yeah. never been on a Disney ship, you have nothing to compare this to. Mm -hmm. So this is and for the, and and it's a reminder for those people who have been on other ships to take a breath. Wipe your brain clean mm -hmm. of everything of you course. know, and just accept the wish for what it is. Yep. And then later, kind of go back and go, right? Well, this is different, and that's different, and you can point out the differences. But I, I will stress to just accept it for what it is and discuss later. Right. 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 Yeah. Yep. Enjoy right. it while you're there. Don't yeah, so for sure. turn it. Down. You know, a question I have for you. Yeah. Um, because they changed up the adult dining experiences on the wish, and okay. they have. Enchante, mm -hmm. and they have Palo Steakhouse. Correct. You dined in Palo Steakhouse. We, we dined so in Palo. Was that a flip or a flop? 
Um, I'm going to, I'm going to call it a neutral is a neutral okay. an option. That's an option. Um, we can do where that. I didn't, uh, I, it's a beautiful space. It's uh, again, four to ceiling windows look out, depending on your reservation mm -hmm. time, you can see the sunset. Um, the, I, I, well, I'll get it. I'll, my brain's now all over the place because I have a lot of thoughts. Um, Palo Steakhouse, the menu is, mm -hmm. it's Palo. I know they're calling it a steakhouse. It kind of reminded me of sort of an STK where you mm -hmm. order your steak and then you have order a side. Palo, we are, my, my family is a, our platinum sailor. So they have a $45 meal credit mm -hmm. toward Palo which can be used in two different ways. A, uh, and, and let me say, yeah, yeah, if you're platinum, yep. Castaway Key Platinum with Disney Cruise Line, that uh -huh. means you have completed 10 sailings. So once Correct. you've completed 10 sailings, you're platinum and you get this Palo meal. Correct. Continue. Correct. Just the, if you have not so, familiar. Yeah. So it's a, uh, it's, and it's less of a, it's less of a meal now and more mm -hmm. of a, again, a credit. So this is 45 mm -hmm. minute, 45 minute. Forty-five dollar <laughs> um, prefixed menu. That mm -hmm. that's your that's it. Or you can order a la carte, and then it's a then the, the forty-five dollars becomes a credit uh, per person. Forty-five dollars per person. Mm -hmm. So we wanted steaks, and so we we ordered a la carte, um, not realizing that. I, and I come from old school Palo, where you show up and you order everything because you're allowed to. Not so much anymore without paying for it. So you, yeah. so I ordered a couple other things that later my mom was like, why did you get that? I was like, because that's what you do at Apollo. And she was like, not anymore. <laughs> um, so again, food, fantastic. Service, phenomenal. Um, the views. The views, uh, yeah. So I will, I will call Apollo, Apollo itself very neutral in the other ships. The flop for me in this area is the Rose, which is the bar that is before Ashante and Palo. Our favorite bar on Dream Fantasy is Meridian, which sits between mm -hmm. Palo and Remy. Mm -hmm. And it's there's windows, you can look outside. The bar faces the bar faces in. So when you're sitting there, you're looking out at sunset. With the Rose the bar faces out and you sit facing the bar and your back is to the windows, the the windows mm -hmm. and the beautiful uh, scape behind you. So the design of it didn't really mm -hmm. strike me. Mom was like, you want a drink? And I was like, no. You would have to sit at one <laughs> of the tables that so, are next to the windows. Correct. To, correct. To have the view. Um, okay. And again, it's a beautiful bar designed beautifully. Mm -hmm. Just that it, for me, it lost that impact of like, Ooh, I can sit at the bar. And, and see things. Ironically, one of the bartenders that we had on the dream last time I was there was also a, a bartender on this. But I liked, so. okay, I like the Beauty and the Beast theme because they have Very the cool. rose that uh -huh. carries through and then Palo Steakhouse uh -huh. you just talked about is yep. hosted by Cogsworth. Is, so you yep. will see nods. You can find Cogsworth in there. Yep. Look around. Yep, and sure. then Enchante is hosted by Lumiere, Correct. which you can also see there. And I have no feedback on Enchante. Um, three or four night cruises. I didn't feel like I had time to dine there. For and sure. I did see Enchante was readily available. So you could get reservations to that up until the could, day we boarded. So could, it could be a price point. Thing. Yeah. 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 The price point at Enchante is we higher. Had, we had hoped um, to do the brunch on, uh, with Enchante, but then we, we, we turned to YouTube and we found all dining reviews and things and thought, not this time. Yeah. Yeah, no, we'll hold off on that one. Yeah, I, I'm not endless budget, so yeah. I have to decide. Um, okay. Question for you regarding Paulo Steakhouse: What night do you recommend going to Paulo Steakhouse? Oh gosh, and that's the problem on the Disney Wish uh -huh. because on three or four night sailings, if you're on a three night sailing, yeah. you only get to experience correct their restaurant, each one of the three once. different restaurants once. Right. Um, so I guess it would depend on how I would probably if I had my my choice. I there's, only, choose, there's only one answer, but I'm waiting for there's yours. Only one, okay, I want to hear yours. Yeah. But okay, what I would have gotten if I could have yep. was brunch on a sea day. Okay. Or maybe on the day we were in Nassau. Okay. Um, but I like to dine. I go with my family. Mm -hmm. So I like to dine with my family yep. um, at night. Okay. Um, anyway. The correct, an the correct answer. <laughs> if you're Doug, on a, Doug's going to educate you're on a, us if all. If you're on a four-night cruise and you have to choose the best night, obviously, if you have the option to choose, the only night to go is pirate night. Why? Because the pirate menu is a flop across all five <laughs> ships. Okay, so we got another flop I hadn't even thought of. 
That's, we can do a whole food food. Oh, yeah, we don't need to go but on that. But that's a whole that's separate a conversation. Right. Um, it definitely is. Right. But yeah, I always recommend trying to go on Pirate Night. Pirate Night is probably my least Not probably. But, but it is my least favorite. Also, menu. okay, but that's again opinionated because our that's, family goes go. all out on Pirate Night. Uh, I'll well, drop a go. picture in here of us dressed up on Pirate yeah. Night, especially my son and my dad. Not this one. Uh -huh. the, other um, the other son. Not the other son, um, who's not in the video, but loves Pirate Night loves it has to dress well, up go. the makeup the full garb so if you love pirate night and you're into pirates then you know um, true it's hard to pick i and mean choose. you could still i guess you probably shouldn't wear pirate garb to apollo you could i guess you could you who's gonna stop you, you? Well, I mean, that's <laughs> but it's disney okay well okay the, another one so we talked about the cove which is adults and mm -hmm. steakhouse which is adults this yep. involves you uh oh the hero zone oh and you know about the hero I zone do know about too. the hero zone um <sighs> the hero zone if if you don't know, it's a, it's a big open space now mm -hmm. that they've brought. During the day, it's like sports, basketball, um, different things like that, uh, activities. And they will bring in an accredit course, which is a big blow-up yeah. challenge course yeah. that you can run for fun and also for a challenge to win a medal. Mickey yeah. medal. A Mickey medallion. The legendary Mickey medallion. <laughs> which were apparently upgraded for the Wish. They, they are. They were. Right. Yeah. They were. We they're tried they're to get basically one. like the... The um, 5K medal, there's yeah. that rubbery plastic keychain y thing. And they're there's like cool. a collection. You can get a collection. Exactly. Of they're so, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So, the Hero Zone, uh, as sort of mentioned before, is this collective um, in environment. What we call it an environment? Um, space. It's a yeah, space, a space design for events. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I would yeah. call it as well. There's basketball, ping. There's a whole separate room with ping athletic with events. There you go. Did you see the ping pong room? I did not see a ping pong. So room. when you walk into the hero zone, there's, it's like a, just a giant oh, yes. wall. But then yes, they open the did. wall and there's like eight ping pong tables. Again, Florida sailing windows. You're playing so ping pong. So oh. we went in there. Yeah. And when we went in there, there were no ping pong tables well, because right. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. And we went in Maybe there and we left then. our shoes there to do the, the incredible course. course. Yeah. Um. But yeah, the incredible course is okay. My take. Yes. Because you know we're going on right, and let's on. Get it, yeah, let's the get hero it. zone. Um, it's a big space. I don't think it yet it has a clear definition of what it is. I know it's like sports courts and different things. I think it's underutilized. I think the credit course is great, although we did all kind of get beat up on it. That that did you do the incredible? I did course? not. I did not. I watched. Oh my! Oh my! God. Okay, so I like had yeah. some rug burn on my elbows, and we had stubbed toes. It's a, it's a giant inflatable it. course. We did it, yeah. and it was fun. Um, but I think the space is underutilized for how big it is, how much room it takes. So, so at least until they figure out or define that space better, yeah, I'm sure. going to call it a flop. Okay. On the ship. You? Um, the hero zone. Man. Hero I zone. mean, really? Flip flop. I didn't go in there much. I went in there for the incredible course. I didn't see much going on in the, in, the, in the hero zone. I mean, it is a nice big space. They had basketball. But, I mean... I don't know. Really, I feel like the Incredible Course is what defines the Hero Zone. I feel sure. like when you think of Hero Zone, you think of Credit Course, and yeah. they, they kind of go together. So, so your answer is flip or flop. Uh, if you have to pick, if you had to pick, I don't know. Well, I'm kind of, kind of, uh, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm gonna say flop. I just yeah. feel like it's a bit of a waste of space. They could have done like something the really course. cool, but I love the Incredible Course. So for me, I think the spe I, it's a lot of things on this ship are a great idea. Weird execution. Yeah, yeah. Still finding its feet, right? And I, so I can't call it a complete flip. Right. I can't call it a complete flop because yeah, I yeah. do, I do, I think the space is needed and I think it was definitely well thought out. Um, the design is very cool. So being a former crew staff member, I love it because as a crew member, that's where the events are. That's where you go and do things as opposed to formally where you would do chip at golf or diaper dash mm -hmm. in the atrium oh, yeah. they want to take those they took those things out of the atrium and put them in its own activity mm -hmm. space and so I, for that aspect i think the hero zone is great the credit course i didn't do it it looked fun and exhausting and i chose <laughs> yeah, not to do it, it. um so i so it's a flip as in great idea flop as in we're not quite there yet yeah yeah i agree um okay. yep, i do that. well again on the flip side um, love that the basketball court is inside because because the basketball court That's is inside true. in the hero yeah. zone, not outside, yeah. not on top of Apollo, uh, yeah. where it is in the dream of the fantasy. So that's nice. Um, and mm -hmm. honestly, it holds, it holds my favorite event of the cruise in that space. Jack Jack's 
Diaper Dash. That is your favorite it event. I've never event. seen uh, it. You've never seen it? I have I've seen it. We've seen watched it, it in you, the atrium. Okay. You guys have. I don't if you know don't know what Jack Jack Diaper Dash Disney Cruise Line has sanctioned baby races <laughs> on the cruise. They they gather all the children who all the children, the families who have babies who cannot walk, and they race them. Three, two, one, go. And and parents use chicken tenders and toys <laughs> at the <laughs> other chicken end tenders. at the other end of the course to get the baby to crawl to the first. And what I love about this is that they have to crawl. If but they go ahead. Yeah, if they get up, yeah, if they have, if they take their first steps, disqualified. amazing, congratulations, disqualified. Yeah, but and, and that's a fun <laughs> event. However, fun. to me, my perspective, and that's great, and it's a great space for it. It's a very small target audience that has children to participate in that, and so like True. you, it's right on the verge of being a great area. Um, this coming from a perspective of someone who's been on a lot of other cruise lines, Fair. Um, and maybe they should. Like I wanted to see more things on the schedule, like archery competition. We did, or, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. not on Disney, yeah, yeah, not yeah, another. Yeah. Um, but yeah, more. I wanted to see the space utilized for more activity. Right. So there you go. That's a, again great um, space underutilized, right. still finding yeah. its footing. But there anyway, you now you guys have watched a lot of this and stuck through it with us, but we are going to cut and we are going to do a whole series of these episodes. We're going to talk about food, spaces on the ships, entertainment, and other things yeah. that we don't want to bore you to death. So you can come back. So come back and check out more. Watch our other episodes again. I'm Melissa with Pixie Dust Adventures. I'm Mason from Mason's Edge. Um, if Doug from Neville Land. Doug from yeah. Neville Land. <laughs> I was going to lead it. Oh, thank Doug you so from much. from Neville Land. No worries. Um, <laughs> Um, if you like our content, make sure you like, subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Leave a comment down below. We want to hear from you. If you would like complimentary concierge planning assistance for your next cruise, look me up. My name is Melissa. You will find me at pixiedustadventures.com. You will find Doug at... Uh, again, YouTube, uh, youtube.com slash Neville Land, Neville Neville Land on Instagram. And Easton and, yeah. is Easton's, Easton's Edge. Edge. There you go. So come back and watch us again. We'll see you later.